Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Today we're headed out on Route 66 to the historic town of Shamrock, Texas. Our walk here begins in front of one of the most iconic, iconic buildings on Route 66, and that's the Conoco Tower Station and the U Drop In Cafe. This Conoco Tower Station is an iconic and, un and unique Art Deco landmark crowned by this 100-foot tower that's located about six blocks from Shamrock's Commercial Center, which we'll see here in just a bit. John Nunn owned the lot on this corner of the crossroads of U.S. Route 66 and Highway 83, and it was a prime location. Developers built it for him in exchange for the land. James Tyndall and R.C. Lewis built it in 1936. It cost about $23,000 in those days, a little bit close to $500,000 in today's dollars. He based the design of the building on an outline of a building traced by Nunn with a nail in the sandy ground right here on this spot. It was the first commercial business located on U.S. Highway 66 in Shamrock and was quickly named the Tower Station. This building complex comprised of a, ga a Conoco gas station, a diner called the U Drop Inn. The name was the winning entry in the naming contest and it was suggested by an eight-year-old boy. And then there was a third building on the far end that was, was to be a retail store, but it just became part of the cafe and provided extra seating space. It also served as a ballroom. Conoco itself is an American oil company founded in 1875 as the Continental Oil and Transportation Company. It evolved into a gasoline brand and its service stations now belong to Phillips 66 Company. This property is a sturdy one-story concrete and brick building with a flat roof, but its Art Deco embellishments make it stand out. The gas station has two canopies, each facing a different highway, and two obelisks atop the building. The tallest over the service station is a tower that extends almost 100 feet into the air. It's emblazoned with the letters that spell Conoco and topped with a metal tulip. It is one of the tallest structures in the center of Shamrock and the neon lighted tower lured in customers from far away. The building's facade is decorated with green and gold terracotta tiles and a distinctively art deco relief motive on the canopies and tower base. As it was built during the Great Depression, Depression, its extravagance may seem out of place being located in a small and remote town here in the Panhandle of Texas, but at that time Shamrock was doing just fine. Oil was a good source of revenue for the region and business was thriving. John Nunn passed away in 1957 and the building changed hands over the following decades. In the 1970s it became a FINA gas station and its color theme was switched to red, white, and blue. The builder's son, James Tyndall Jr., bought it in the early 1980s. You'll also recognize the building as uh, part of the Dick Pixar movie Cars and it was stylized as the House of Body Art, the business of character Ramon after the Conoco gas station. As we now head into downtown Shamrock, our first stop is taking a look at this old Magnolium Petroleum uh, gas station. This was built around the 1930s. Inside you can see some of the old instruments and gas pumps here. Next door to the Magnolia Filling Station <coughs> is the Pioneer West Museum. This museum is housed in the old Reynolds Hotel that opened in 1928 by attorney Marion Reynolds. It was open approximately 50 years and housed many a weary traveler along Route 66. That, the museum inside features uh, exhibits on the cultures of the Great Plains Indians, NASA, uh, 
Route 66, pioneer weapons, everything related to farm and ranching. As we see here in this building, just across the street and part of the museum. The history of Shamrock dates back to 1890 when Irish immigrant sheep rancher George Nickel applied to open a post office at his dugout home six miles north of this present town site. The name Shamrock was suggested by Nichols' Irish American mother who told him always to depend on a shamrock to bring him good luck. However, the post office never opened because Nichols' dugout burned down that same year. The official beginning of Shamrock came in 1902 with the arrival of the Chicago, Rock Island, and Gulf Railway. The railroad named the stop Shamrock and the town began to grow rapidly. By 1907, Shamrock had emerged as the largest town in Wheeler County, Texas and continued to grow in the years that followed. In the early 1920s, the oil and gas industry began to boom in the Texas Panhandle and Shamrock benefited from this economic development. The town's population once more continued to grow and new businesses and industries were established. This small park here celebrates the heritage of Shamrock and one of the most unique things that you will see is a piece of the Blarney Stone from Ireland. The Bl Bl Blarney Stone, if you kiss it, is said to bring you good luck.
Shamrock does have a movie theater in town. It's the 704-seat Texas Theater that was built in 1940 at a cost of $30,000. It opened August 22, 1940 with Mickey Rooney starring in Andy Rooney Meets the Debutante. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Shamrock, Texas along Historic Route 66. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Take care now. Bye.